what should you know about DUI slash OVI charges in Ohio? I'm Sean Dominey. I'm a DUI lawyer in Columbus, Ohio, and this video is going to answer that question. And that question is a big one because when you say DUI charges, it sounds like the whole gamut of DUI issues, which includes you know, the charges, the defenses, the penalties, the tests, all of those things. But really what we're talking about in this video and on this page of the website are the actual charges that are filed. And even though DUI, what we call OVI, is, is basically one statute, there are, the way I categorize it, several different types of charges. The two main types of charges are OVI impaired and OVI per se. OVI impaired means you were under the influence of alcohol or drugs, and OVI per se means that you were over the limit for the alcohol or drugs. Those are the two main types, but some of the other types include a first offense, a second offense, a third offense, a felony offense. I think of those as different types because they have different mandatory penalties. So there's a look back period in Ohio. It's 10 years. If you get a second offense within 10 years, then the penalties are much more severe than they were for the first offense. And the same is true with a third offense or a felony offense. Another type of charge that I think of as being separate is a test refusal charge. If you have a prior conviction within the last 20 years and you're arrested for OVI, and you refuse a chemical test, that is actually a separate charge and it carries double the mandatory minimum jail sentence as the underlying OVI charge. Another distinct category, even though it's still under the same OVI law, is driving under the influence of drugs. Alcohol and drugs are treated a little differently. The sentences are the same but if you look into the statute, things are a little different for drugs. And a subcategory of drugs would be uh, operating a vehicle under the influence of marijuana. So I think of those as a separate type and a separate subcategory. Uh, other categories include underage OVI, what we call in Ohio OVUAC, and that means operating a vehicle after underage consumption. And boating under the influence, or BUI. So those are some of the different types of OVI charges. And even though there are differences among those different types, they do have a couple things in common. One thing which is common to them is the investigation. The investigation is essentially the same for all of those types. The other thing that is essentially the same is the court process. We have on the YouTube channel a separate video for each of those types of charges and we also have on our website a separate website page for each of those types of charges. So if you've been charged with one type or more than one type of OVI, I encourage you to take a look at those videos and those website pages. As you do that research, if you conclude that you want to hire a lawyer and you think that we may be a good fit, there are a couple of ways that you can contact us to schedule a free phone consultation. The first way is to call the number on the screen, and the second way is to fill out a contact form on our website. In any event, we welcome the opportunity to talk with you, and we hope that this information has been helpful.